Welcome back to the Civivi studio, everybody. My name is Seth, and today we're talking about the Civivi Brazen. This is another new design uh, designed by Civivi. And we've got nine different versions here to take a look at. Uh, so there's definitely gonna be something that you will, uh, should catch your eye here. All right, now we've got you in here closer to these guys. You can see that there are um, basically three different categories, I'll, I'll say, for the Brazen. We've got the, on the top left there, we've got the um, G10 scales with the drop point blade and with a stonewashed finish. And then just below that, you've got the same colors in G10, um, but with the Tanto blades. Um, a couple of those have the black stonewashed blades. Um, gives it a real nice look with that all black version. Um, and then the black pairs really well with that burgundy as well. And then over on the right, you can see we've got the micarta versions that have the Damascus blades. Now, a lot of guys like to switch things up, so they'll, they'll buy multiple versions and then switch out the scales so that they can get, like, a, for example, an all blacked out version with the um, Damascus on there as well, which is pretty cool because it gives you a chance to customize things a little bit. Um, but there's a whole bunch of different versions here, so I, I th hopefully you'll be able to find something that you like. Um, let's go through some of the features on, on these guys. First thing to notice, one of my favorite features, again, is that thumb stud. And you can see on all these versions, there's a, a black thumb stud on there. And just like um, all of the other Civivis that I have handled, um, it's got a perfect action on that thumb stud. For the flipper lovers out there, um, we've got a nice flipper tab on there with jimping on the top and, and the back of that. So you can get a really nice flipper action as well. On the backspacer, on your, uh, your G10 backspacer, you've got a uh, lanyard hole there. You've got a reversible pocket clip, stainless steel pocket clip. that gives you tip-up carry on the right hand or the left hand side. These are liner, lo uh, liner lock with skeletonized stainless steel liners. The Brazen is running on caged ceramic ball bearings, which is what gives it that awesome CVV action. The overall length of the Brazen is 7.98 inches. We've got 3.46 inches on the blade, and the closed length is 4.52 inches. The blade thickness is 0.12 inches, and the handle, like uh, many of the others, is 0.47 inches, just under a half inch. The weight on the Brazen is 3.82 ounces. Thanks for taking a closer look at the Civivi Brazen with me today. The MSRP on this guy is gonna be $58, and you'll find it everywhere for just a little bit less than that, um, at least until it starts to sell out. So, um, let's finish off with a subscriber giveaway. Um, it's been a couple of videos since we did one of those. So all you have to do to be entered into this giveaway is make sure you're a subscriber and then leave us a comment in uh, on this video. We're gonna go ahead and let the winner choose from any of these knives. So make your comment be which of these knives you like the best and that will be the one that you win if you are the lucky winner. So thanks again for watching and uh, make sure you're subscribed and come back for the next one. All right, everybody, next up at the Civivi studio, we have a brand new Elijah Isham design. We've got the new Lazar here. This little guy is a beautiful Isham design, a front flipping action to die for. We've got four different versions available. It's coming in purple. We've got it in black. Both of those are G10. And then we've got it in the uh, bronze and the brass, uh, sorry, copper and brass. So. Come in and take a look at this beautiful new design from Elijah Isham. Okay guys, like I mentioned, we're gonna have four versions of the uh, Lazar available at, um, right now. These are available at dealers. We've got purple G10, black G10, uh, uh, black hand rubbed copper finish, um, handle, and a black hand rubbed brass handle with uh, Damascus blades. These uh, new designs from Elijah are gonna be very Elijah, <laughs> very, very Isham. You can tell by looking at it, that's what it is. It's very similar to the McKenna that we did with him uh, a little while back, but this is gonna be just a little bit larger, um, although it maintains some of the, the same uh, features. The Lazar is going to feature all of the standard Civivi features that you've grown to love. And we've got the stainless steel reversible pocket clip, 
It's got skeletonized stainless steel liners. Um, the blade steel on uh, the brass and the copper are uh, is a Damascus, and that's going to be a layered 9CR and 10CR blend. Um, and on the purple and the black G10, we've got a 10CR 15CO MOV. The black and the purple versions come with a nice stonewashed finish on that blade, and it's a, a perfect flat grind from the edge all the way up to the top of that blade. Let's jump into some of the specs for the Lazar. It's got an overall length of 7.58 inches. It has a blade length of 3.31 inches and a closed length of 4.27 inches. The blade thickness is 0.12 inches and the handle thickness is right in that sweet spot where it needs to be, just under a half inch at 0.48 inches. The weight on the two G10 versions is 2.61 ounces. The weight on the brass handle is 4.37 ounces. And then the heaviest of them all is the copper that comes in at 4.51 ounces. Like I mentioned before, there's a, a reversible stainless steel pocket clip on all these, and there's a G10 backspacer on all of these knives with the uh, copper and the brass and the black having a black backspacer and the purple has a purple G10 backspacer to match the scales. There we have the new Lazar from Elijah Isham and Civivi Knife. Um, guys, this has a great front flipping action. Um, I, I'm able to do it both left-handed and right-handed, which is a, a feat for me as uh, the front flipping knives tend to be a bit of a challenge, but this one is pretty easy. So if you've been thinking about trying out a front flipper, this could be a good one to start with. And we're gonna have an MSRP on the G10 versions of $70. So you'll be able to pick that up for right around $60 from your local dealers. Um, your copper and your brass versions have an MSRP of 110, and those you'll be able to pick up for right around $93. The Civivi Lazar is available right now at your dealers, so don't miss out on this latest Isham design. Um, we have a bunch of other models that are also coming out right now, so make sure you jump over and check out the other videos on this Civivi channel. Subscribe so that you always get the latest content. Also, don't forget about our Wii channel where we upload all of the videos on the new Wii models that we have. So thanks again for watching everybody, and stay tuned for the next video. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Civivi Studio USA. Today I've got a brand new knife to take a look at with you that is extremely unique. It's got some really fun features. This is called the Civivi Crit. Uh, this guy is a front flipper, but that's not a knife. This is a knife. So come in and take a close look at this and I'm gonna show you how it works with the front flipper on both ends with a blade and a multi-tool on the other side. This is a really cool piece, the Civivi Crit. Okay guys, this is a bit of a departure from most of the styles that have been coming out recently by Civivi. So this is a really fun one to take a look at. Um, as we, I guess I might as well show you on this side that we're looking at right here. You can see this got a new uh, style of pocket clip. It's got that bent wire design held in with the screw. Um, that is the first of that style on a Civivi. Now another first is the dual sided um, knife design here where we've got the blade on one side and the multi-tool on the other. Now your multi-tool's got a bottle opener, uh, some wrenches, a seat belt cutter, and then a uh, flathead screwdriver on the one end and uh, uh, similar, uh, like a flathead um, screw uh, driving tool on the end of it there. Um, so this is really, really a versatile little tool um, to add to your pocket with that seatbelt cutter um, and the flathead screwdriver that could be used to pry if needed. But um, obviously on the other side, you've got a uh, really nice nitro V blade with a great EDC style shape to it, full flat grind and a stonewashed finish. The crit comes in three different uh, materials. Um, we've got the black G10, the natural G10, and the green micarta. All three of these uh, versions are available right now. Um, the unique thing uh, about the way that this knife works is it is a liner lock. So as you can see, the liner on the crit 
is right in the middle of the knife and the same liner is used to lock both ends, which is a really cool, really unique design. You've got cage ceramic ball bearings on both the blade and the multi-tool and you can see those in there. So you've got the, the post on one side of the blade and then the, the blade with the uh, ceramic ball bearings. And then on the other side of the knife, you've got uh, another post on the opposite side and then uh, the bearings um, and the multi-tool. So it's a really unique design here, the way that this is put together. And both sides, the blade and the multi-tool, have an extremely smooth action. They are both front flippers. So you can see that you've got the tab on there for both sides with a little bit of jimping on the front there so that you can get a hold of that and flip it out. Now the specs on this thing are a little bit deceiving because you've got an overall length of 10.43 inches. Now that is with both blades open. Your cutting blade is 3.18 inches with a blade thickness of 0 0.10 inches. The handle length is 4.25 inches. And the width on this is just a little bit wider than most of the Civivi knives because it does have the two sides to it. It is 0.61 inches. The weight on the Micarta version is 3.44 ounces and on the G10 versions it is 3.61 ounces. One of the fun things that I like about this knife and multi-tool is that you actually can fidget with something that is not sharp. So it's kind of fun to, uh, to play with this multi-tool portion. Um, you, can, you can flip this thing out and just play with it knowing that it's not a sharp blade. It's kind of fun. Also, you actually get the Civivi logo. Because you have two pivots on this knife, you get the logo on both sides of the knife, which uh, I just thought was pretty cool. Guys, one thing I almost forgot to mention, this multi-tool, um, these are prototypes that I have right here. Um, the actual production version will have a ruler right along the edge of the multi-tool right here. So we've got a photo of the production version uh, that we're gonna go ahead and throw in here so that you can see that. Um, but again, there will be just a ruler right on the edge of this multi-tool. Thanks for taking a look at the new Civivi crit with me today, guys. Uh, once again, we've got the multi-tool on one side, we've got the blade on the other, both front flippers, Great action on these things, an extremely useful package right here. You're gonna find these um, at dealers for right around 75 bucks. The MSRP on these is 85 for the G10 versions and 87 for the Micarta. Um, these are available right now. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day. Hello YouTube, welcome to the brand new Civivi Studio USA and the brand new YouTube channel for Civivi Knife. My name is Seth, I'm the marketing director for We Knife Co. and Civivi. On this channel, we're going to bring you new product announcements, special promotions and offers. We'll go over any questions that we might have from the fans and the customers and anything else that we really think will be interesting to you guys. To make sure we get things started off right, we're gonna quickly go over a couple of recently released models and then I'm gonna tell you about a contest to give you a chance to win a very special knife that's not going to be available anywhere else, just on this new YouTube channel. So what I brought out to show you today is the Bull Mastiff, the Mini Bull Mastiff, and the Mastodon and the Mini Mastodon. Now these are the first cleaver style knives that Civivi has released. And they released them right close together with the Bull Mastiff coming out just shortly before the Mastodon. And so I wanted to go over quickly the differences between those two knives and just let you know why two cleavers. First of all, the Bull Mastiff and the Mastodon are going to contain the same type of steel. Here we've got a 9CR18 MOV steel. We've also got a flat grind on the blade. And that is the characteristic of both knives. You'll be able to see a difference right away in the appearance of the knives where the Mastodon has the hole in the blade, um, like a traditional cleaver would have, where your bull mastiff has the fuller along the blade. A little bit different style. Very same blade shape and uh, same grind, same flat grind. Both the Mastodon and the bull mastiff have a liner lock and stainless steel components, hardware, um, screws, clips, and that. They both have G10 handles and G10 
backspacers. The main difference that you're going to see between the Bull Mastiff and the Mastodon is going to be in the action. They both have flipper tabs with jimping on them so you can get a nice good grip on it and a nice solid um, action as you release it. The, the main difference is that we're going to see is that the Bull Mastiff has a caged ceramic ball bearing action and the Mastodon has bronze washers. So what you're going to find is with the Bull Mastiff knife with the caged ceramic ball bearings, that action is going to be a little bit more smooth and you're going to get that typical Civivi glass-like opening. Very, very smooth, very nice action. Always snaps open and you get that satisfying click to let you know that it's there. With the Mastodon, those brass washers are going to give you a little bit more durability and a little bit more ease of cleaning um, in your knife. So if you're looking for a real workhorse, this is going to be the option that you're going to want to take. If you're looking for something as a, an everyday carry knife that doesn't need to be quite as robust, but you just want that perfect glass-like action, you're going to want the Bull Mastiff. So I took the liberty of opening up a couple of these knives to give you a quick look inside um, so that you can see what I'm talking about. So here on the bottom we have the Bull Mastiff, and you can see right here that we've got the caged ceramic ball bearings. Um, you can also see on the inside here we've got the skeletonized stainless steel liner, um, we've got the G10 backspacer here, and here's your little pivot, or uh, not your pivot, but your uh, detent ball on the liner, the liner lock. Right there. Right up above here you see the Mastodon, and really the only difference between these two knives is that this Mastodon has the brass washers instead of the caged ceramic bearings. So, I, I mean, you've got two differences. You've got the um, fuller on the bull mastiff and the cage ceramic ball bearings and then you've got the hole in the blade like a traditional cleaver and the brass washers on the mastodon and these is going this is going to be a little bit easier to clean um, and is a little bit more robust for heavy duty working than your ceramic ball bearings are so let's get these out of the way and talk about the special knife that i mentioned at the beginning of the video Happy Halloween, everyone. In celebration of Halloween, we produced a limited run of these special zombie knives just to help you get through the rest of 2020 in case things get any more crazy. Um, these are a limited run. We have si uh, five available, and this is the only place that you're going to be able to get them is through the giveaway on this video. So you're in the right place, and this is your chance to win one of five special edition bull mastiff knives with zombie green g10 scales and black stone wash blades to enter the contest it's super easy all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to the channel only subscribers are eligible to win and you must comment on this video tell us something that you would like to see in this channel tell us anything that you want us to to go over any specific products any ideas that you have any testing we just want to use your ideas to make this channel a success, and so we're building that into the contest. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure we have links in the description to this video to all the products that we talked about here. Um, the Mini Mastodon, the Mastodon, the Bull Mastiff, and the Mini Bull Mastiff. Again, we're really excited about this brand new YouTube channel. Um, we're excited to bring you content direct from the manufacturer and to be a source for the information that we know you're craving. Um, please get involved with this. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see and let us know about your experiences with Civivi product in the comments. So don't miss this opportunity to win one of five special Bull Mastiff Zombie Green Knights. The contest is going to end at 12 midnight on Halloween Eastern Time. So any comments that are received before 12 midnight Eastern Time on Halloween will be entered into the drawing. We'll be announcing the winners on Monday, November 2nd on our social media channels. So make sure you're also following our Instagram and Facebook accounts at Civivi Knife. We'll be looking forward to bringing you regular content moving forward. So until the next video, have a great day. What's going on guys? Tony Seminat here, AKA Real World Tactical. And I just wanna say thank you very much for purchasing my signature blade, the Orthrus. Um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about this blade um, and what it took to design it and what I wanted to accomplish with this actual blade. As you guys can see, um, it's, it's a one of its kind, okay? And the biggest thing and the biggest factor that uh, I wanna say about this blade is that it's a double-edged blade, okay? It is the only one of its kind being that is it a fixed blade and that it has two positions, okay? So right now, as you can see right here, it is on a straight position, right? Now, guys, one big factor here. 
one thing with the double-edged blade that you have to be very careful is when you take it out of the sheath, okay? And I just wanna say, what you don't wanna do is get your thumb, you don't wanna put your thumb on the back of the blade like this because you will cut your thumb open, okay? So when you grab the sheath, go ahead and grab the sheath like so, thumb here across the sheath, you're going to pull, and as you can see, if you leave your thumb on here, you will cut yourself open, okay guys? As you can see here, it is double-edged, has serrations, and then it has a blade on the back end, okay? So even though it has something, so you put your thumb on here, if you pull out and leave your thumb here, you will cut it open, all right guys? So I wanna put that as a disclaimer. Do not leave your thumb to pull open. Make sure that your thumb was on the side of the sheath, okay? When you first pull it out of the box or whatever it may be. With that said, as you can see here, once we pull the blade out, as you can see here, it is a double-edged blade. Right side, left side, you have serrations, okay? This is fixed position, straight blade, okay? And it has the button here in the middle, as you can see here. Okay, now it's locked in place and is now the karambit style blade, okay? The purpose that I wanted to make a blade, whether it was karambit or straight, was the fact that I'm a type of person that I like options. Guys, this is a self-defense blade. Okay, this blade is not made for anything other than self-defense for the concealed carry or law enforcement community, personal protection, whatever you want to do with security. Okay, um, it is designed to cut on every single movement that you have. So whether you have it on your belt, whether it's on your belt, okay, whether it's on your belt, okay, or on your plate carrier, you can either, either have it in the straight or in the karambit style, okay, just like that, right? So, so as now it's in the karambit style, the blade still comes up exactly the same, okay? As you notice, whenever I, I always put my finger in the ring, okay, pull it out just like so, all right? Now, the reason why I made it a double-edged blade and not just one side is so that if you're attacked from the front or from the back, okay, and you're fighting a, an offender uh, during weapon retention, meaning that the guy went after your gun, all right, uh, he attacked you from the back or from the front, whether you have the knife in the front or behind you, when you pull the knife out, you still cut from the back, okay? You can stab, and the same exact thing, you can cut from the front. So you come out here, cut from the back, cut from the front, all right? Another big uh, thing that I like about this blade compared to other karambit style blades is a lot of the karambit style blades are hooking, they hook, okay? So you really can't stab. Well, with this blade, whether it's in karambit style or whether it's in a straight style, okay, straight position, I should say, um, you can stab. So you can stab forward this way, right? Same thing with uh, Karambit. You can stab here, cut, cut, whatever you need to do, okay? Um, I made serrations and I also did a glass puncher on the top of the ring. So if you need to use a glass puncher, you can break the glass. And then the serrations is if you need to cut a seat belt, cut something, some kind of rope or something, um, and struggle with it. It's a thick, thick rope. It, it, will, it will break through that, okay? Um, Couple different things that I wanted to, to, to highlight on this blade. Uh, it took me about a year to design the blade for the different purposes that it has. And um, I'm very proud of the blade. Uh, it's a G10 grip and then it's a nitro V steel. I wanted to make it a good steel where it wouldn't be so um, expensive, right? That's why it's retailing at the price that it does so that uh, it's affordable for law enforcement, military personnel, personnel protection, and so on and so forth. Uh, that's why I didn't want to make it any a very expensive steel, but it's still solid, right? Uh, it comes with a sheath, as you can see here. You can get it with a regular uh, clip where it'll go on your belt or on your plate carrier, or you can pay a little extra money and get the ulti clip, as you can see here, this has the ulti clip on it. The reason for the ulti clip is if you want to turn it, you can turn it on the ulti clip and once you put it on your belt or your plate carrier, okay? Um, this blade was something that I wish I would have had when I was a law enforcement officer. It definitely um, is something that it gives you a peace of mind as a last resort, okay? And uh, it's, I think as a law enforcement officer, personal protection or military should always have a blade on you at all times when you're on duty. Okay, so just wanted to give you that. 
And uh, I appreciate you guys very much. Thank you so much for purchasing this blade. Hopefully you guys like it. Leave a review of uh, what you think. And um, I will be doing some more demos as well on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and check that guys out. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you.